Good evening, guys. Um, hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, I'm doing okay today. Well, tonight, well, this morning, I should say. Um, just got. Well, after I get tonight done, uh, I've just got. I think, yeah, yeah, just one more night to do. And then I've got a couple of days off. I don't know. Give me two seconds. <laughs> so yeah, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, that plate is not coming from there, I don't know where it's coming from. It's that lamp, I don't know how to turn it on. Isn't that more seductive? Nah, guys. Uh, been a, a good enough shift so far. Um, uh, I'm pretty tired, I know. I, I keep saying that, but um, lately I've just. Uh, you know, I've been trying to like process everything that's been happening lately, and uh, as you, especially the people that are, are very close to, you know, most of you guys, really. In fact, I want to like that. Oh. I don't know. I have my reasons for doing stuff like that, but it's just it, when I, I can see my. I don't know, it was shown my, my acne scars a little bit in a strange way I don't like. You know, that's just, again, one of my strange sort of habits that I've got because I hate, I hate my, the scar on my face and stuff like that. I've mentioned that a few times. But anyway, anyway. Yeah, so just one more night to do after tonight and then I can um, take two nights off. And then after that, we are back in business, apparently. So we'll be back, as far as I know, back at the other place, you know? So, it will be nice to have more, more, more work to do, you know? I'll be, it's, it's, it's one of those things, guys, it's like, you'll see, like, but we've all done it, you know, we've all done it. We've all been like, oh, I'm fed of doing this, I'm fed of doing that, I've got too much to do. And then when you don't have too much to do, at first you're like, hmm, yeah, I can deal with this. Doesn't last, doesn't last. Give it two days, and you're like, right, I need something to do, you know. I mean, you, I come in here, I'll... I'll get maybe a few things to do uh, on the computer or something like that, or something, maybe faxes or emails, whatever. <clears throat> and there's hardly anything, all, any, all, no, I'm sorry, I'm just going to double check. Yeah, um, and once that's, that's it, that's literally it, you know? And uh, yeah, yeah, last night, sorry, last night, last night's shift, when I finished last night's shift, on, here we go, Sunday morning. Just, I've just been up to point the hospital anyway, so I was doing that too, you know, just to find out a wee bit more information about what's going on. Um, uh, I won't get into that, that's different. Um, but yeah, yesterday morning, when I finished my shift, uh, because I'm not driving, I mean, I could, I could have gotten someone to pick me up or whatever. I, 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 could, I, I know I could have done that, you know, take me home. Um, the buses must be returning to normal services now, so things are obviously starting to return, you know, quite... They seem to be speeding it up a little bit here now. I don't know if that's because we're now having hardly any deaths from this thing, thankfully, um, or that it's fizzling out. Because I know some Italian scientists are now saying that they believe the illness is weakening and even people that are getting it, it most people, I mean 
are not noticing it anyway but that's not to say that it's still not a risk because of course it's a risk i think it's going to be a risk for uh, a couple of years i mean sars was a risk for two years and sars is still technically there so don't ever ever <laughs> i was going to say don't ever trust the chinese but i would never say a thing like that but um yeah, they've kept they've kept SARS. Yeah, they've they've kept SARS in a, lab, uh, in a laboratory, you know. And the other one is MERS. That's obviously the one you really don't want to get. That's um, you know, that's the one that's the Middle East, you know, the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, which is is a coronavirus as well, and um, it makes this thing look like a common cold, you know. So, which. Thankfully, most people have, you know, they get through it, but, 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 but the, I'm disgusted the amount of death this country has suffered, you know, when we had plenty of time, we had plenty of warning to stop all this, but I'm not going to get into that too much, because that's, it's what, it, it, it's happened, it's finished, it's done. You know, there's not much else we can do. We've, we're on the road to, I don't know about parts of the UK, but in Scotland we have, we're pretty much on the road to eradicating it. Um, you know, so I don't know how they're going to work it, um, especially when they've got borders, because we've got like five regions in Scotland. So this part, which is like the north, considered the northeast of Scotland, um, it, it was hit bad in certain parts, but not too badly. It wasn't until I went down to visit my mum, when I was down in Tayside, well down in Perth, Dundee, which is my, my home area, you know. It's much worse down there. You know, it's, um, obviously you're more, you're more central Scotland, you know, and uh, it, it is, it was a shock you know, to see just how prevalent, you know, things were and um, are even. This thing's not gone. I mean, it's just, you, we can't take our foot off the pedal. I think, I think you've got to give this thing at least another year before we can really say we can, you know, you know, fuck off to it, basically. And I know that sounds, you know, crude or whatever, but sorry, it just, it's the way it's making a lot of people feel. Anyway, getting back to my story, <clears throat> I could have gotten a lift yesterday. They'd also returned the bus services back to normal. I didn't know this. And uh, I'm standing at the bus stop, you know, because that's what I do. I, I, take, a, I take the bus at the work anyway, you know. Um, I'm standing there for 45 minutes. And, and bear in mind, it's June, guys. Now, we have a bit of a mini heat wave. No, you never get heat waves in Aberdeen. It just doesn't happen. It's unheard of, even in August. You know, you just you're lucky. You know, if it gets warm at all. But um, standing there, then it starts raining. Then it starts even sleep. Sleep was coming down, and I could have walked home. You know, but it's like six miles, five six miles. And I'm not gonna do that. You know, I'm not gonna do that. I'm waiting for a fucking bus. You know, <laughs> I am not walking home, especially after doing a whole night's work and, uh, you know, being up, that's a whole way I can look at this now. And, uh, hey, I mentioned this in the last night's video, um, yeah, mental health's taken a battering lately, I mean, it really has, it really has, I mean, it, I'm beginning to talk a wee bit, um, <laughs> a wee bit like that, hey, Ken. But I don't want to start doing that. I'm going to, I'm going to talk into my normal telephone voice. Yeah, yeah. Um, what happened basically was um, things have gotten on to. They really hit hard standing there. And eventually, once a bus came, you know, and it was a different bus, so. Which was more frustrating as well because um, after. I knew once I had to get off at a certain stop, I would have had to walk another little bit to actually get home. It wouldn't wasn't be wasn't going to be a direct route 
home and uh, I um, I literally lost it. I didn't, you know, I didn't shout or call or anything like that. But I, I just, you know, just, I was in, I was in bits, guys. I, I really, it really hit me really hard. And uh, I think it was a case of everything that's went on lately, you know. Um, and uh, I just, I, 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 I just couldn't, I, I'd had enough. I'd had enough. I think also speaking in that previous video beforehand, it was also building up to what really was going in in my head at the time. And uh, I hate this shaved haircut, it look, makes me look really dodgy, but it'll grow back in, it'll grow back in. But yeah, yeah, I just, I burst into tears, and I was, I don't cry guys, I, I, I am, I consider myself quite a, quite a strong person mentally anyway. Um, but this, this was, you know, I just sat in this bus and I just thought, I just, that was it, <laughs> I was gone, I was gone, I got home, you know, eventually, soaking wet, cold, um, <laughs> Bella, <laughs> give me a hard time for being late, you know, the last thing you want when you are feeling like that, you know, is some nutcase cat, you know, attacking you and stuff like that, but it wasn't her fault, and, um, you know, I don't know, I must, keep, I must be getting old or something, but, um, I, uh, I have this thing now, what I do, I've been doing it for a few months, actually, um, oh God, or, I'm, it's either old or I'm getting the early onset dementia, I don't know, it's one of the two, <laughs> I don't know. But um, I sing a song to her when I get in the house. Don't laugh, but um, Sarah, if, if you're listening, I don't know, you maybe are laughing, but um, it's about her, like she gets like cat meat, you know, like normal cat food, you know, like you give to a cat, like, like yeah, just explain it there. Um, but also they get biscuits and stuff like that, you know, like, but I, I see that as a special treat for them, like, it's like something you do for the parents or something like that, you know. <laughs> just like, here, I've got your, your special three for you. Okay, so and then, but apart from that. So anyway, I, for, I forgot to get her. And I think she was expecting it. So, <laughs> so whenever I sing this song, I'm not going to sing the song today. Oh my God, let me do it. it doesn't last very long. Um, You know, she knows that I've got these things for her from the shop, you know. And uh, of course, me being an idiot, right, trying to get her off me because she was she was pouncing me. And, I don't know. I don't. I think she was angry. She was like scratching my legs, and you know, when you're wearing a suit, it's not exactly the most protective thing, you know. And uh, God help to get close to the balls because it really does. <laughs> it's happened before, but anyway. Um, of course, I comes out with a famous song, and I see her like this, and she's she's literally like, she stops, she's like, and then I'm thinking, shit, I don't have them. <laughs> so. I was getting, she was getting nice for a while, like being nice thinking she was getting ready for these biscuits. <laughs> and then when she clicked that I didn't have them, I was just saying it to get her off me type of thing or thinking I had the biscuits, whatever, I can't remember exactly. My head was mushed me, uh, me? I was like a fucking chab. But anyway, my head was basically messed up, you know, and um, then she started to attack me again, I thought, right, okay, 
so I had to go back and get these things. So then I come in, you know, bear in mind, I'm mentally drained. I am <laughs> completely fucking wasted. My mind's just gone, you know. Mind is gone. You know, I've got so much shit in my mind and then you've got this cat on your <laughs> giving this grief, you know. So I had the biscuits, I finally got them and um, I seen her. She stopped like this. I wish I, I wish I'd recorded this now because, it, uh, well, at the time I wasn't really in the mood for recording anything, but um, and uh, basically there was an advert back in the nineties, <coughs> like an old cat biscuit biscuit commercial. I don't know in the nineties. I was still at school, but I remember the words to this day, and um, <coughs> and it was it was for a biscuit called Brekkies. And then um, basically the song would go, cats make haste for the brekkies taste, right? So basically cats make haste for the brekkies taste, right? So all I have to do, honestly, I, 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 I can, I'll do this video later on. I'll film myself doing it and then um, I'll, I'll do this. And she knows, she's like, right, okay, 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 that's it. I'm getting the biscuits. I mean, she could eat them. She would eat those things rather than proper meat. But I like to give her a balanced diet. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> what's happened to me, guys? What's happened? <laughs> Talking about my bloody cat, <laughs> giving her a balanced diet. You must look after your cat. You know? <laughs> I could have said something else there. I was going to. But I'm gonna keep it clean. I've I've, I've used the f word a couple of times. I don't think it's very nice. Um. Yeah, yeah. So eventually she was okay. Well, or so I thought. It's the usual ones. It's the usual ones I buy her. So I put them in the bowl, you know, into the kitchen. Put them down. She was flying through there, you know. She goes to the bowl. Does this. Walks away. Goes to her bed. Now I, you know. To say that I'd had a tough night is putting it mildly, you know, and I thought, you beep, 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 all that stuff, you know, but hey ho, she must have eaten later on, because when I did get up, they were gone, so she, she so that's what the story of me and my pussy, um, but yeah. But tonight things are a little bit better, you know. Um, I'm more concerned about some of my other friends, you know. You know, it's all very well me talking about myself and uh, my woes and my family's woes and stuff like that. But um, I still care about everybody else, you know, who I know online, offline. I want to make sure they're okay, you know. I want to make sure they're okay too. Because, you know, there is a lot of, you know, you know, we, we know there's a lot of stuff going on. Come on, let's be honest. It's gonna, it will settle down eventually, but it's been an unfair start to the, it's been a pretty unfair start in terms of the first six months to us guys, let's be honest, this year. <clears throat> So, the way I see it, you know, things are basically returning back to normal, you know, as of June, end of June, start of July. Um, so they say, but we'll see about that, that could be another story. I still think, um, maybe Christmas time, before everything's fully, I'm, I'm talking about my industry, you know, I mean, my role has basically changed now, I mean, Again, this isn't just a hotel. We do a lot of other things as well. We do a lot of functions. We do a lot of um, seminars and stuff like that as well. So there's always like, you know, the, the scope for employment is, is okay here. Um, but I do feel terrible for the people that have been laid off. And it, it really does, you know. But as far as I know, it will be temporary that they will be, you know, once things are back up and running, you know, in a few months time, you know, get them back, you know, get everyone back, you know, get everyone 
back to my mum and let's learn from this mistake, you know, whatever. I say mistake, but you know what I mean. There has been a few mistakes made along the way. And I'm not just talking about China, I'm, I'm talking about from our own you know, leaders and stuff like that. But again, look, look, I would say give him a break, right? Okay, Matt Hancock isn't the most charismatic guy in the world, right? But what do you, what what do people expect him to say? What do ex- people expect him to do? He can't wave a magic wand and say, "I will stop this. I will stop that." It doesn't work like that. And there's a lot of, in my opinion, a lot of grown up needs to do, ha- needs to be done by some citizens of this country and of others as well especially when it comes to people thinking things can be solved like that you know it doesn't work like that guys it never has and never will you know i mean they're still looking for vaccines for diseases that we've never gotten around to getting cured you know and they won't get cured the only way they'll disappear is when you immune um or you know unfortunately some other way but and um, we'll go down that route but yeah guys people just need to they need to chill and just accept it the way it is it's not it's not easy it's it's far from easy it's um it, it's horrible you know and there's people out there in the front line and there's one person in particular i mean my mum I nearly said she was. I mean, she's still with us, you know, but, you know, she's... Up until a few weeks ago, she was still working for the NHS, you know? I know of somebody else who's online, I'm not going to mention names, because I don't think that's fair or right unless I get the permission. Uh, but he knows who he is, and uh, he deserves more than a break. He deserves a bloody holiday and a medal. And I mean that for a lot of the workers that are out there, especially the frontline ones. I mean, something I didn't, it's funny, something I, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, um, when they were doing the, the applause for the, the NHS workers and stuff like that, it's fine, you know, I mean, I get, I get that, you know, I get that. They deserve some sort of recognition, absolutely, you know, absolutely, but I think, they need to start getting a little bit more, you know, more than just a clap, you know, they definitely do, and, um, you know, I thought about my mum, you know, I thought about a few other people every Thursday when they were doing it, and, um, something my mum said to me, because she knows, I was sent, I was asked back to work, you know, to, to cover all these, these, uh, complexes and stuff like that at night times, and, um, she says, one of the last things she, she was able to say to me, well, when she, when, well, she did say to me when she was able to speak properly, um, or speak at all, you know, was, I'll, uh, I'll, cl- I'll clap for you, saying, you know. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't be silly. <laughs> I'm just doing my job, my normal job. I'm not a health worker or nothing like that, you know? That really stuck with me, you know? It really stuck with me a little bit, a little bit too much. And I think, I think it's when you start thinking, sometimes it's, it's, it's a very difficult balance. Um, I hope this makes sense to some people, because you can sometimes bottle things up too much, or sometimes you can, go the other way and uh, you know just constantly worry constantly worry it's it's, it's an it's a, I would say it's a very nigh on impossible task to do because nobody knows how to prepare for things like this you know nobody does you know it's just not I think my spot guys um, <laughs> but, but it is true nobody nobody knows how to do, deal with things like that you know but um I know they've relaxed a lot of things, you know, or and they're away to I think again relax a few more things. It's 
crazy now you've seen the queues in McDonald's and stuff like that. It's like, come on, it's bloody McDonald's. It's not exactly that good, you know. Um, I was never, you know something, I've never really been a huge McDonald's fan. I always thought, even back as a kid, I thought, this isn't that great, you know. You know? What, McDonald's has been the goal since, what, 1950s or something like that, you know. I've just, I've never really been into them. Burger King again, I mean, you'll get people say, I prefer Burger King to McDonald's. Um, to me, it's just a fucking Burger King. <laughs> it's me it's exactly, you know, gourmet dinner, can I mean? It's not. It really isn't. It's nice to have a treat. I mean, uh, I, I like going for the occasional chippy, and it's nice to see all the chippies back open and all the takeaway places back open. It's nice to see all these places back open. There's actually an Islamic place just around the corner from here, um, and they are open all the time. And that's what I don't understand. It's like, like they tell us like the, these uh, food shops, you can't eat inside the food shops and stuff like that. Yeah, but they're oh, literally doing that right now. It's twenty four hours, you know. And uh, I'll have to find out the name. I've been passing it like virtually every night, and I'm always thinking, God, there's tons of folk in there, you know? And I've always been tempted to go in myself, um, just to see what it's like and see if there's any. Oh, I see a couple coming back from a late rendezvous. Uh, I wonder, wonder where they're going to. They could have booked into here, I say, what a, a room for the night, I suppose. We, we are still allowing lock. Oh, that's what you walk in. <laughs> no, nah, lock-in would be quite nice right now, but um, no, no, we're not having lock-in. Um, yeah, we're, we're still letting people come in, you know. It's strange, it's really strange how we've worked, how we've operated. We're still taking in guests, even though... But apparently the reason we're able to do that is if you are able to provide safety then you are still allowed to operate. There's a lot of fine print in these lockdown rules. But let's face it, guys, it's not really been a lockdown at all. It's been advisory, you know, advisory, do this, advisory, do that. If people want to know what lockdown is, they go to go to, go to Italy and ask them what lockdown really was. This, hasn't, this, this wasn't a lockdown, guys. It was never a lockdown. It was an advisory bit of information from the government of England, you know, eventually, and Scotland, I suppose, I suppose they did get involved. They had to, you know, they had to as well. Um, but they, they all started breaking their own rules and stuff like that, so then you stopped taking them seriously. And then, <clears throat> you know, so people... I think, I think that's what's helped, not helped, I don't know if that's a good word because we don't know how this is going to pan out, but I think that's what's pushed this release of stuff much quicker, this lifting of things and restrictions, sort of indigestion guys, really, really quite sore. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's what's, it, what's um, because all, all nations, I think apart from Wales, I think they behave themselves, but um, to hunt and be very proud of your country. But I think we had one of our doctors here, you know, who made the rules. Well, made the rules, my arse. You know, and he didn't make the rules. It was just brought out of thin air, you know, and thought, let's just say this. I mean, come on, let's be honest here. Correct advice, but there was a lot of bullshit in it as well. And then they started breaking their own rules. And I will, I will say one thing, I'm no nationalist. And at all, I'm a labour, I'm a labour through and through. Um, deep down I am anyway. Um, but the... Nicola Sturgeon obviously had, had to, to put major pressure on her, she wanted to sack her, although she should have sacked her straight away. That was my gripe, I thought, come on, you've broken walls, you've made yourself. And expected us to follow Dominic Cummings thing. Okay, guys, we've talked this. I'm sure. Well, I haven't personally talked about it, but the guy should have been sacked. The end of the story. 
that's just my opinion, I'm not going to mention it again. It's the same thing, you know. And um, that Neil Ferguson guy, he, he, they got rid of him, so why not get rid of a guy that actually made, actually made the rules, you know? You know? But, and this, this is now what's pushed this country into lifting things far too early, in my opinion. Because, because nobody now can take them seriously. And nobody's going to obey these rules, guys. Um, as I say, they're already talking about reducing the six, the six foot rule down to four foot, or it, you know, whatever you call it down. I know down there, two meters to one meter. I mean, that's going to happen. That'll be the next thing. They've, they're already talking about it, and so they're very serious about it. It's going to happen, you know. So it's basically like it's going. It's basically going to be like, like it is now, like it was before. You know, it's just basically going to be like. Holly could be Holly could be here, you know. Uh, four foot away from me, a three foot away. See, yeah, it's three foot. A meter away. And I would be like, "Hi, Holly, how you doing?" You know. Or, you know, yeah. It's, so it's just like, so what was the point of it all? You know. Um, when you look at it in that way. However, <clears throat> we had no choice. Um, we acted. I think in this country, I, and I thought I'd say this, but I've actually been quite proud of my country, how well we've handled this. There's been terrible deaths and, uh, in care homes and, and hospitals and stuff like that, but I think we had, for the first time, no deaths recorded, you know, yesterday. I hope that is, well, we know for the last month and a half that it's been coming down and stuff like that but people just need to still be sensible and also respect our health workers and people that are out there you know instead of being fucking pricks and congregating and you know groups like that excuse language but I'm sorry that really does it, it, it annoys me endlessly like when I see that it's not like you're asking we're asking too much from people you know it's not forever it's only for <laughs> few months, God's sake. Yeah, it's been a tough year, but it's been a tough year for everyone, guys. We're all in the same boat. Okay? So that's just my, <laughs> that's my, <laughs> my strict face there. Um, but I just need to sleep, I think that's what it is. I've only got three hours to go, so that was my little video. Anyway, oh, there's a call coming through. Just give me two seconds, guys. Good morning, the Wacky Museum. Oh, Hunter. Surprise. Right, okay. So you're up, you're definitely up for... Right, okay. Excellent, so you're up for the challenge. So you're, what you're going to be doing, you're going to be doing... Mm, okay, I think, uh, yeah, I thought Pollyanna might have been a bit too, too much. So, yeah. So you're up for dancing as Sinbad with a sword, a turban and tights on. Fantastic. And you have to do it for... See, I've changed it now from 5,000 word essays. <laughs> I'm an idiot, guys. Anyway, Hunter, yes. We'll, we'll, we'll discuss this at a later date. I know you're in the middle of playing Tetris. Goodbye. You know, it feels good sometimes, like, to actually laugh, you know, but it's more maniacal laugh. Oh, talking about maniacal laugh, um, I saw the Joker. The Joker. The new, well, I say the new Joker, but the new Er Joker. How good is that movie? Mm, pretty damn good. Guys, I'm gonna take it on a little bit of a walk. Let's go for a little walk. Do 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 do. Dun, 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 dun. See, there's all the hotels, guys. That's like all the hotels. And um, so as you can see, some of the cameras don't work. <laughs> there's the bar. That's my one. That's where I would normally work. And that's my complex but I will be back to you very soon I can't wait 
Um, that's a different world together. There's where I usually sit there. Or I actually won't see what else they do because I will get in trouble if there's videos that are discovered. <laughs> this is this hotel. This is a separate building that is of a converted church which was turned into rooms. And if you look, you can see me there. Hi. <laughs> and that's where we print our keys and, you know, like for guests and stuff like that. Obviously, I can't show you guest bookings and stuff. But look at this. Who's this handsome chaffy down the bottom right? You know? I'm going to go this. YMCA. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Oh shit, low battery. Pretty serious. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm gonna go for a bit of fresh air. And then before I log off. Oh shit, this door's not this door's not open. What's going on? Oh, I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm tired guys. <laughs> I'm still not used to this hotel. <laughs> That's my excuse every time I get something wrong here. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna go outside here. I'm um, usually go down the back into the car park but you know there's, there's Sarah's home to shore and there's like a little lounge party we've got and you know, this, this is a different sort of place altogether so ringing the bell Sarah Enriquez Diaz yes you'll be at the very top those seagulls will be pecking at you <laughs> you feel like your mum, but me, uh, any seagulls are pecking at me. <laughs> no, that's me, guys. Remember, I'm, a, I'm the Italian. So there's the Mexican. <laughs> so I said, I love you. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. And uh, we'll take a little walk over here, will we? There's the, the outside. But this is the old uh, building, so it's kind of interesting to see. I think I did show you guys a few. See, there's part of our, our hotel as well. There's the church building I was telling you about. It's really cool, very very nice. Some beautiful rooms in there. Um, but yeah, this place it's called the Bonacord Free Church. I think I actually Wikipedia it to Sarah the other day. And uh, guys. Please join us, but due to COVID-19 precautions, all church services are being suspended. But I think, you know, you all know this. Hey, Seagull, be quiet. And there's a church, as I say, it, it's really nice. That's part of our hotel as well. You know, he's, the guy's done well. He's a, he's, a, he's, he's a fantastic boss, even though I never see him. You know, but his, his family are really nice as well. It's a family business, you know, so. And they've done, they're very well known here. They're very well known here. And, uh, but yeah, I'm good, guys, I'm going to get a bit of fresh air and uh, leave it there. Oh god, I like, hate seeing a spot in the daylight, so I can't do a video for doing longer. But, guys, have a fantastic night, and I will speak to you hopefully very soon.